Hey guys, so first you want to file down your nails as much as possible. And when you file down your nails, you want to get that cuticle. You just want to push it back just a little. Don't hurt yourself doing it. Just push it all back so you can get ready to do your nails. After you wash your hands with all the shavings that you did, you need to use some hand cream. Another thing you're going to do is use any type of hand cream or lotion and just oil up those cuticles because of all the rough sawing you were just doing. You want to make sure that they're all ready for the polish. So I did not actually um, use a clear coat first, but I do recommend that you use a clear base coat first because this is a pretty, as you've seen what color it was, sweet tooth. It's very soft, so I didn't feel like I needed to use a base coat, but if you want to make sure it's all shiny and beautiful, I recommend that you use a base coat. So right now I'm just polishing the nails and I'm just taking my time and make sure that all of it is right. As you see, I'm doing my hand back and forth with the motion. I'm kind of leaving the brush, the one, um, I'm sorry guys, the hand with the brush kind of still and I'm kind of moving my hand, tilting my hand back and forth to make sure that all of the polish is evenly put on my finger as you can see I did my ring finger it had a little more polish than I really wanted it to have so I was not really happy with that but it'll be okay so right now I'm just doing my first coat and because this is a nice soft polish you actually probably will have to go back in with a second coat and once again, this is Simply Colors, and I got this from Walgreens. I want to say it's usually priced at $1.99, and I think I got it on sale for $1. As you see, I'm twirling that brush to make sure I get as much excess off as I can. I try to use, try to make sure I just go over it as best as I can. And I'm just sitting those hands down and make sure you let those fingers dry. I make a mistake all the time of not letting my fingers dry and things happen. So these gemstones right here, as you can see, actually came from, you ready, listening? You ready? Da, 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 da. Um, Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby is almost like Michael's or Joanne's. And it's actually supposed to be for scrapbooking. So just make sure when you are going to those type of stores that you're looking and you're not always using things for what they say they can be used for. These actually are self-adhesive. As you see, I'm pulling them apart because each strip, um, how can I put, each strip holds all of them and you can easily pull them apart. Actually, I was not prepared. I should have had scissors to do this. But as you see, I'm just putting a little design. Now, because of my nail bed being so small, it does look a little weird. But if you have a longer nail bed, I think it will look really cute and something really fashionable. That's right now the trends. You know, like everybody is now wearing their real manicure nails. And just adding a little piece of glam. So that's all I did. I hope you enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching.